Dear Lord, thank you for the grace of prayer and supplication, and that we may always pray intentionally and from the heart. Amen. Blessed Mother began speaking. This situation is very much a model of what is coming to America. Prepare yourselves, children. Prepare your hearts, your relatives, and those who will listen. Now more than ever you must be steadfast in your resolve to live for God alone. Does Scripture not say in Matthew 26.39, My Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. The writing is indeed upon the wall, but know that I am with you, my children, to help you get your priorities straight. Press into prayer, my dear ones. Press in. This is not business as usual, as many seem to believe. You can be on the front lines, praying and changing the outcome of the enemy's actions. But truly you must apply yourselves to pray mindfully that this is coming to your shores as well. Those who show mercy will reap mercy. The whole earth is about to be scourged, but your prayers, focused and mindful, will make the difference. You are part of my army of intercessors. Ask of me the serious unction to pray, and I shall obtain this grace for you. Many of you are at a loss as to what or how to pray. Do not let that stop you. Come in obedience to prayer, and the unction will be given. Some of you are praying continuously. How very pleased my son is with you. Continue to press in, and grace upon grace will be given you. It is not well understood the favor a sincere intercessor has with God. This is the highest calling, my little ones. Do not think otherwise. Do not be lured away to accomplish a great work. Your greatest work is done on your knees. After that time, then comes your apostolate. It is rare that a child is brought up in the true fear of the Lord by continuous prayer, but it is a beautiful accomplishment when they are. This quality prepares them for life more than any other discipline. But for those of you who were raised in front of a television, you have much to overcome with your restless minds. Steep yourself in Jesus, in his arms, his peace, his protection, and pray from within his heart. In this way, your hearts will beat as one, and you will loose that bitter edge that comes from your flesh, wanting to indulge itself. Lord, keep my eyes open and my heart engaged in prayer. I keep falling asleep. Mother Mary continued, It is best that you fight against this and target the enemies that are working with your flesh to pull you down and all of my children. God bless you, dear heart dwellers, and may the light of Christ shine from within you.